I'm Jonas from SceneWorld and we're still at Gamescom 2022 and today I'm here with Robin who's going to introduce us to his game or their game rather which is uh, in my personal opinion a better version of keep talking and nobody explodes but uh, I let the details to him yeah I'm uh, Robin Ress uh, co-founder of Rusty Lake and uh, we are showcasing the, the best within uh, it's a co-op adventure game we have made a yeah a really long time series we exist for seven years and we make 15 games all single player and this is the first time we make a co-op game and um, the fun thing about this game is that one person is in the past and the other one is in the future and yeah you have to work together to uh, travel through time and uh, resurrect your father okay sounds great i already got to try the game with a friend of mine i think yesterday and the first thing I noticed is that there is an interesting style of puzzles. Like, it's not obvious what the puzzle is in the certain level. Do you want to talk about that design philosophy that you that you were going after with the, with the puzzles? Now, the, yeah, the game is a lot about communication. So you have to communicate uh, codes to each other because there's no connection between the devices. You help each other with codes. And uh, so we designed a lot, like what is nice to communicate, symbols, uh, paintings, um, you, you play chess uh, with each other. And so every time we look like, okay, what's, what is nice and exciting to communicate uh, with each other? And it should also be unique every time. So during the whole design process of the game, we, we struggle with that, of course, finding new, exciting ways to um yeah communicate and and find yeah also special ways to because the players don't see each other's screen so it's completely different from uh from each other's screen so yeah it's um you have to be certain what you uh, see and speak about yeah yeah as you mentioned the players are playing on two separate devices other players who may have played uh keep talking and nobody explodes might be familiar with the concept of having two Two different screens, two different sources of information. Um, it's cross-platform, from what I've heard. Do you want to tell us which platforms it supports, which platforms are planned to be supported? Uh, yeah, so we are planning to release on iOS, uh, Android, uh, Steam and HIO. So PC and mobile first, and uh, after that we hope to release on the Switch uh, very soon. Um, and yeah, you can play on your uh, on the platform you prefer so you can choose uh, whatever you like if one person wants to be on uh, on a tablet the other person can be on the laptop for example okay um in the beginning of the game when i played it there were a lot of prompts to check that the players are were communicating well i didn't get to try out what happens if you answer them uh, in a wrong way um yeah you have to answer a few questions and that is to connect uh, you, you have to choose the right player so what I said in the beginning, you have to choose between the past and the future. That's important, but there's also a mode uh, B or butterfly. And that determines what set of codes you, you will use in the game. So you, after playing the game completely, you can do another mode. So you have a fresh start for, for each other. That sounds amazing. Is it like a major difference in the storyline or is it just minor difference in, in leveling aspects when you choose the different modes? Um, there's some minor things and there will be some bigger things and it will be a fun new experience and actually if you play the whole game together you can also think like oh let's switch around now I'm the past and now you are the future and you actually will get a completely new experience so yeah you will see new screens new environments so that's really nice yeah yeah it sounds cool I don't think the replayability would be that much higher after you got to the two different modes because like you've seen the other side. Um, are you planning to release further levels down the road? Uh, yeah, so the, the game is a full experience. So we are, uh, of course, looking into can we add something more later. But for now, we want to release this as a complete uh, experience one time. Uh, but there will be maybe some secret stuff uh, like in all the other Rusty Lake games, we have a lot of achievements um, some secret levels and yeah we are also planning to do that for uh, the password in okay perfect very nice is there anything else you want to tell the audience about the game that i may have missed while playing through it oh yeah till what level did you play uh, to what uh, points uh, did you... uh, 
think we got to play right past the point where we drained the smoke from uh, the room okay. in the past. So yeah, then there's enough to explore still. I don't want to spoil the players too much. Um, we also try to keep, um, yeah, not show too much of what we offer with the game, because then you get a complete experience, of course. And uh, so I would hope that uh, people who are watching that they uh, would just try the game. We also have a demo available. Uh, then you can see if it's something for you. Uh, we also have a Discord where people can join to either find a, a channel to uh, play together on or just find a player. So if there are single player people, um, they can find a partner to play with on our Discord so of Rusty Lake. Yeah, that sounds really cool because that, that may be something that a lot of people will be struggling with as it's an indie game. So there's not that many people that know about from personal experience, I know that if I come up to my friends and ask them if they want to play an indie game with me, it's always a big struggle to, to convince them. So yeah, yeah. that's a nice addition. Yeah. And yes, I think we've gone yeah. over all the major facts. I think uh, I have something for you. Okay. Maybe it's nice uh, to open on the spot. I yeah, okay, let's, let's look at it. Uh, I'll hand the microphone over to you. But, uh, on the front, it says the past within and in the Back, it says let's make some memories so I just tear it open and we'll see, oh, see? <laughs> it is a bit dangerous so watch out it's dangerous yeah. so put it away yeah. from my face <laughs> put it <up>. oh. <laughs> oh. oh that's so cool it's, uh, yeah it's the cube of uh, of the game yeah and there's uh, for you a special QR code to, uh, to oh, scan there's the QR code yeah where does it lead is it a secret or okay yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you will to. see but, okay uh, Maybe we'll tell you, maybe not. Um, thank you very much. It looks amazing. I suppose this is from the future. I've played from the past, yeah, yeah. so I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> but it's amazing. Thank maybe you. you go to the past when you scan the QR code. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, thank it's you for your time. Thank you. And a... looking forward to seeing you around next year at Gamescom, maybe with another yeah. game. Yeah, we have something planned also, a okay. new game. So. People, we hope to be back next year with something new. Any yeah. teasers on that or is it still? Um, yeah, so the Rusty Lake universe is, is expanding and uh, we made a lot of single player games and we hope to release a new single player game uh, later. Uh, I cannot say the month or so, but we, we are working on a game next to the past within already. So it will come soon. Perfect. Then again, thank you and see you around. Yeah, thank you.